Hey everyone, it's Mallory here with cats.com where we're all about cats. And in this week's video, we're talking about cat food toppers. So over the last few years, I've noticed that more and more cat food and pet food companies are offering what they call toppers. So whether they're made for wet or dry food, uh, all of these promise to kind of enhance the nutritional value of your cat's food. They come in a wide variety of uh, flavors and textures and types, and I wanted to find out if they were worth it. So based on um, this time trying out cat food toppers and doing some research, um, I picked five products as my top recommendations and broken them down into a few different categories, and that's what I'll be talking about today. So my first recommendation is appropriate for both wet and dry foods, uh, and it is Northwest Naturals Functional topper. Uh, I am selecting their chicken breast and green lip muscle variety. So there are a few things that I liked about this product. One is that it comes from a US-based company that manufactures all of their own products. You can read uh, the complete review of Northwest Naturals on the cats.com site. And this particular product combines palatability and um, a nutrient boost in a really nice way. So it's basically just a crumbled freeze-dried chicken uh, product, and then it's infused with a green lip muscle. Ingredient that is rich in omega-3 fatty acids, it can help to fight inflammation and have other benefits for your cat. And so for cats of pretty much all kinds, this is going to give the food a little bit of a nutritional boost. So a 4.5 ounce container costs $13.99. I'll put a link to a place where you can purchase it online in the description. Now my next recommendation is for those of you who are feeding your cat dry food for whatever reason um, and you recognize that it is water deficient and you want to give them a little bit of a hydration boost. So one, you can just add water. Um, it's free. It adds moisture. It's a great addition to a dry food. It's going to change the texture, but if your cat will accept it, it's a good stepping stone towards a wet diet or a way to just add more moisture to your cat's dry food. However, if you do want to give a little bit of an extra boost, maybe a little bit more texture, I would recommend just using uh, one of Tiki Cat's shredded or flaked foods like uh, their succulent chicken recipe. And the reason I'm recommending this rather than something marketed as a topper, such as the Tiki Cat broths line, is that as I looked through these and I was considering them, something just didn't sit right with me. So their broths line contains a ton of thickeners. It's about 20 cents per ounce more expensive than their regular foods. And the fact that it's not nutritionally balanced means that you're having to carefully limit it to 10% of your cat's diet so as not to throw off um, the nutritional balance of their diet. Just a lot of hassle and a little bit expensive um, for something that you can just as well mimic with a regular food. And on the bright side, their regular foods are free of those thickeners. Um, it's lower carbohydrate, it's overall just a more nutritious option for your cat. This food costs about 75 cents per ounce on Chewy. My next recommendation is for those of you who have a picky cat or a cat who has lost their appetite and needs to be encouraged to eat, and that is Katmandu's Bonito Flakes. So you may know I've been recommending this product for years um, just as a treat. It's a dehydrated tuna product. Very simple, one ingredient, and it tastes incredibly good uh, to cats and some people. Bonito Flakes are uh, a common ingredient in Japanese cuisine and they just work really well for cats who aren't eating their regular food. You can sprinkle it on top and it'll make it a lot more appealing. Now, the one problem is that they cost quite a bit. So a four ounce package costs $20.88 on Amazon. Not cheap. That bag is going to last for a long time. These are really lightweight flakes. It's more than it sounds like. So it should be able to last you for a while, uh, assuming that your cat doesn't dig into the bag and eat them all up. Now, if your cat has a health issue that's making them inappetent, or even if they're um, eating well, but they're struggling with some digestive issues, Purina Fortiflora could be a good option. Now, this product has the longest ingredient list of any of the toppers I'm listing here, and it's not perfect. So it contains Animal Digest, which is a vaguely named ingredient made from hydrolyzed animal tissue. You don't know which animals are going into that. On the bright side, hydrolyzed protein is non-allergenic, but the reason I'm recommending it is that it has been demonstrated to have benefits for cat's digestive health. It contains just one strain, Enterococcus facium, um, which has been demonstrated to have benefits for cats. And uh, it receives 
almost entirely positive reviews. People are talking about it helping to relieve their constipation and diarrhea and other digestive issues. And on top of that, it's extremely palatable. So these things complement each other really well for sick cats. It's helping to relieve those digestive issues. It's also encouraging the cat to eat when they don't feel well. So a 30 sachet pack costs $30.99. Again, it's not cheap. It's over a dollar a day if you're using a sachet a day. Um, but it could be worth it for cats who need it. And then my last recommendation is a bone broth. So it is Open Farms Bone Broth for cats and dogs. Now, bone broth is a very nutritious product that you can add to your cat's food, whether it's dry or wet, which one, adds moisture, which is critical for cats. And then secondly, it offers a variety of beneficial nutrients. So it's offering the amino acid glycine, it offers collagen, it's rich in other um, vitamins and minerals. Um, bone broth can be really beneficial for cats. I'm recommending Open Farm's bone broth product for a few reasons. One is that uh, Open Farm uses human grade ingredients. It also uh, has a great track record for traceability and uh, transparency. So you can go on the website, see a complete nutrient analysis. You can see where all of the ingredients are coming from. They've made this a core part of their brand. A few downsides, it does contain carrots and it is 7% carbohydrates, which probably doesn't need to be quite that high carbohydrate. It's still low carbohydrate for cat food, but when you're adding that on top of your cat's dry food, I don't know if it really seems necessary. If you have a cat with certain health issues, um, for instance, if your cat is prone to forming crystals in the urine, or if you think they're at higher risk of kidney disease, then the added nutrients in this bone broth on top of your cat's nutritionally complete diet could kind of skew the balance. So a 12 ounce package like the ones I have behind me costs $7.99 in the Open Farm store. So that's about it for my top five topper recommendations. You will find links to all of them in the description. Um, but the thing is, with toppers, you can feed your cat anything that you can give them as a treat as a topper. It's basically just taking a treat and putting it on top of your cat's food. So things like um, chopped chicken will do. You can use goat's milk if your cat tolerates that well. Maybe some fermented products like kefir or yogurt. If your cat has uh, certain health issues, maybe a fish oil supplement or a probiotic can be used as a topper. There are a ton of different options. Again, water is probably the best topper you can give your cat. Just mixing a little warm water into either a dry or a wet food can be really beneficial. You just have to remember to put that dry food into the refrigerator or throw it out. After your cat's done with it, it can't sit out all day. Regardless of what kind of topper you use, whether it's just something you found around the home or one of these designated cat food toppers, I think the benefit is ultimately more for us than it is for our cats. I've been trying out these toppers over the last week or so, and I've noticed that it just feels good to add something extra to my cat's diet. A good food is going to incorporate all of these things, whether it's a make of three fatty acids or probiotics or moisture <laughs> that should be in your cat's food. Um, but adding it intentionally at mealtime has this really rewarding feeling and it gives you more of an opportunity to reflect on your cat and how you care about them. Let me know in the comments if you have any ideas for toppers, what you think of this whole concept, and if you have any questions for me or requests for future videos. As always, thank you so much for watching and being here. Really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.